Okay, what you'll want is another long strip that you're gonna make. The length of this has to be from here to probably about six inches past here is how long you want this to be. Now this is folded over once for the front and once for the back. So you'll need two of these when you do this. So here's my fabric, create my fold. And it's gonna look all janky, I'm sorry. There we go, you get the idea. This length is however long you want the trim to be. Um, if you're just adding it to the end and extending it, then it's gonna be selvage length hem. Hem is typically about two inches. If you're flipping it back over and tucking it on, um, which is more of a way to do it, kind of like you do ribbons and add on trims to the top instead of extending it, then how you want that to be is gonna be the selvage, however far up here, and then an inch to roll it in. So let's do the cut for the first one, which is just an extension. You can do this a couple of ways. Um, the first way you can do it is just measure out how far it is and how far down you want it and just make a triangle. So it would look kind of like this. Holding a camera while trying to draw is not the easiest, but you know, make it work. So you do it like this. Okay, then I'm going to cut this out. And then I'm gonna, when I sew, I'm gonna sew this onto this edge. Then I'm gonna come back and I'm going to adjust this edge and cut it down to match this shape. In order to do that, I have to make sure that the length from here to here is going to be how far I want it to be. So there's some math involved in doing it this way. Um, you know, if this doesn't have a sharp curve, like if the curve was only like here or only came out just a little bit, this works great. Um, it's very time saving. If it has a deep curve like this, not good. It takes a lot longer. All right, we're gonna go with option two. And to make things a little bit easier, I'm gonna flip this. All right, option two. Option two is, um, it works. It's kind of sketchy, but it works, I promise. All right, so here's how it goes. You're gonna reverse engineer this. You're gonna draw down here your edge and you wanna bring it out. And you're gonna bring it up however much you wanted it to be, like so. Draw it up and have it out. When you do this, make sure you add a little extra here. Do you want the extra because you can trim it down now? It looks like this on your fabric, which is basically I drew that. So, in other words, if I was gonna do it, I would basically draw a line across here that matches however much you know, inch, two inch, three inch, whatever, cut it off, and that was where you would get that kind of thing. So, I'm gonna cut this and I'm gonna show you how it goes on. I have cut it. Yay! All right, in order to do this, you have to fully open up your tunic bottom. Okay, fully open up this piece. Now, the easiest way to do this is, let's say this is the forward facing. This is what's gonna be on the outside. This side in here and this seam, that's gonna be on the inside. So what we wanna do is take this and we're gonna match it up as best we can, looks like this. So then it looks kind of like this. Look, my drawing skills aren't great today, so not when I'm holding something. Okay, then, now, when you do this, this is the outside. This is the outside. This is the inside of the gray. This is the inside of, of the blue, okay? You're going to sew this bottom edge only. Once you've sewn that, it will then flip down and look like this off of it, which you then hem this bottom around. And ta-da, you have your blue and gray on the bottom. So let's say we wanna do it the other way and we want it to be like this. It's super, super simple.
flip it to the inside. Put our piece on. Now recognize that this will be the inside of the gray. That's going to be the outside. Okay, so this is our this is our inside of our blue. Inside of the gray is facing the inside of the blue. Outside of the blue, or uh, sorry, outside of the blue is facing the inside of the. Oh God, I can't tell colors. I'm going to try this again. So let's say at this point we want it to be sewn up on top of this. So we'll flip this to the inside. This is the inside now. Do, do, do. And just like we did the last one, we're going to do this one. Here we go. So in this case, this is the inside of the blue. This is the outside of the gray touching the inside of the blue. This is the inside of the gray facing out towards you. And you'll want to have this a little more up here. It's not center. Sorry. Okay. So now what you would do is you would sew this bottom hem right here. And I'm actually going to go sew this so that I can show it to you. Otherwise, it's going to look weird. Okay. So I've sewn this to the inside of my tunic. I used a white thread just so it'd be easier for you to see. Now what you're going to do is you're going to flip the tunic over like so. And you're like, oh, that looks all janky. That's not right. Well, what you do you then flip the gray side over. Oh, it's such a pain in the booty sometimes to do this with one hand. Hold on. Okay, let me do this in another video. I'll flip it over for you. But anyway, we're going to flip it over in, the, in this next uh, section. Okay, now I've flipped it over. The easiest way to do this is to hand do it and kind of pull, um, get, the, get it even, then to iron this edge down. It will make your life so much easier. It's going to keep everything flat, clean, pretty. So when you get to this point, iron this. Um, I'm not going to do that because my iron's put up in who God knows where. So um, the next part of this is to roll that top edge down in. So I'm going to pin it real quick so you can see what it looks like. Okay. So I just pinned part of it because when I did this, I made the seam salvage too big because I was trying to rush back on me. Anyway, you'll be more scientific with it and it won't be a problem. So all I did is I took the end and I just rolled it under to make a hem. Now, once you, what I do at this point is I would gently iron this. Don't leave your pins in when you iron. I would iron this down. Again, it creates a nice smooth thing. Then I would pin it um, on this top end. Now, so our bottom edge will look like this. Ooh, pretty. Our top edge will look like this. Ooh, pretty. So that's how you would do this. And you can do this on the sleeve. You can do it on the side. If it's a coat, like let's say this was a coat, you would do it down the coat front opening, whatever opening you want. This is how you do it. All right, so in the tunic patterns that I do like this, which these are pretty much just for fighting tunics or just under tunics or whatever, where it doesn't have to be fancy. Um, it just needs to be utilitarian. Um, the less seams I have, the less I have to worry about it that seam ripping or having a tear or um, anything else. So I like to use less seams on garments that are going to have a heavy wear, which is typically your under tunics. So it looks like this, which is kind of funky, right? So how you do this, once you get it to this point, and let's ignore the fact that this is down here, <laughs> but how you would do this when it gets to this point is you would bring it together like this. Do, do. Do it. It's not going to lay right. When you do this, you want to do this inside out. So this is the inside. That's the outside. Then you're going to sew, starting here. I pin um, to make sure everything matches. I, I pin a lot through here. And any, anytime there's a curve, I pin a whole lot. And then when there's not really a curve, eh, I kind of loosely pin. Anyway. So, when you sew, you can start down there and go up or down here, whichever, doesn't matter. So, you're going to sew all of this, both sides. Once you've sewn both sides, then it's sewn together. And all you have to do is, um, is the sleeve hem and the bottom hem. But if you do it this way, the bottom hem's already done. So, kind of solution, problem solved in those cases. Um, now neck facing the devil now i'm just joking it's it's a pain in the butt but i'm 
to show you how to do this because that's going to be one of your questions probably.